I think there's there are very few places uh, on this planet where you are so totally exposed to the wild in many ways. Not only is it big and, and, and void of people and, and villages and there's only wild uh, landscapes and, and, and wild animals, but, but it's so different. Whenever you come, you have another crazy problem with the wild. Like when we came in February, we, we waded through deep water up to the hips. It looked more like the Everglades in Florida. It was water all over the place and violent storms and, 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 and the sky lit up with lightning. And, and now we came in, 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 in the summer season, uh, or rather in the winter when you talk about Namibian uh, 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 time, and, and raging fires are all over the places and this is dry like nowhere else. And it, it's, it's dusty and it's absolutely the contrary of what you had before. And that, that happens to you here all the time. It's just surprisingly. Uh, wild and beautiful, of course. The first thing that's the biggest difference is that I don't have to worry about what I wear. Uh, I pretty much wear the same stuff all the time and I don't have to look good. My hair is <laughs> completely messed up. There's no, no people stalking me with makeup brushes and, and hair brushes. And, um, also, just the, the liberty of being in a, an authentic moment and being just you with them and that, that encounter between people, this dialogue that's always between us. Um, nothing is pretending, it's all, it's all happening right there and then and that's what's so cool about these guys that they introduce you to being present and not being in past or future. So that's for me the biggest difference. It's not about pretending, it's just, it's real, hardcore. There's, there's one thing that sort of stuck in my mind and that was uh, when we were wading through water to see if it was deep enough or, or if it was good enough for us to drive through the water and it was me and Tamashe, the one guy that was walking out and he's like, he reaches me to almost my hips, you know, it's, it's quite a short version of, uh, of, of me. And uh, I'm the giraffe, they always call me the giraffe. And um, we're wading through water and suddenly this guy is disappearing more and more. I can't see him anymore, but suddenly this arm comes up with his tobacco, you know, that's what he wants to say. We ended up finding no way to carry our equipment because we ended up in water and all the cars got stuck. So actually somebody went to a, um, to a sports uh, store in, in the capital and bought two rubber boats and then we brought them all up to the desert and then we carried or actually we were towing our equipment with a little boat and I thought that was quite weird in, in the desert. I think it's been a fantastic experience to see how this scenery is constantly changing and how it, it surprises you with, with new colors or dryness or wetness every time you arrive here. And, uh, but of course, the hunt is the ultimate highlight. Um, I've never been a part of anything like that before. The hunt itself was great and fantastic, but tracking an animal with Bushmen in the deep, thick uh, underwood in the bush is just amazing. These people move about in, in, in this landscape like it would be a, a sidewalk. And, and I struggle with thorns and everything, and they just move and they, they follow tracks like in walking speed. And then you feel the tension, there's this animal must be somewhere, it's alive, we knew it. 
and there was nothing staged. The way we, we did it was perfect and I felt really I'm in the middle of it and a, a dream came true because I always wanted to be a Native American Indian and now I was a Bushman and I was probably one of the greatest things I ever did. Mm -hmm.